an open letter has been written to Nigerians in the UK over calls to go and harass Buhari and send him back to Nigeria. Dear Nigerians in the UK, there have been calls from some Nigerians urging you to trace where President Buhari is staying in the UK and harass him back to Nigeria. Our most recent one came from Renu Omokri on Thursday morning. Renu Omokri went as far as revealing where President Buhari is staying in London, even though he did not state where he got his information from, and urged Nigerians in the UK to go there and harass him back to Nigeria because the president cannot keep answers. Protesters then go to London to give himself life. Dear Nigerians in the UK, I urge you to disregard such cause. Do not allow yourselves, allow yourselves to be misled by to wash our country's dirty linen outside like that. I'm not saying that uh, Mr. President is perfect, neither am I in support of his all his policies, but that does not mean I am in support of any move to disgrace him publicly. I know that many people are not happy that the president traveled out of the country in the midst of chaos and many have been asking why the president cannot set up a standard hospital to take care of his medical needs in his own country but that does not mean we should go to the extreme of disgracing him like that in the public no matter what our grievances against the government are we need to be rational in our thinking going to harass buari in london will not be a shame to just the president but to all nigerians home and abroad as the number one citizen in the country president buari is a father figure to every nigerian so imagine your father offends you you would go to the essence of disgracing him in the eyes of the entire world or would you rather choose to handle the matter at home as a family matter i am sure you would choose the later just as you cannot disgrace your father in the public i do not expect us to do same to buhari in london we can go ahead and continue voicing out our disaffection with the system because it is criticism and opposition that keep a government on its feet but that does not mean we should break the rules of engagement like seriously <laughs> this person must be uh, must be something must be wrong with this particular person okay is it the president that talks to the people or the one that ignores everybody we don't want him to be disgraced but he, he can leave people to die whether you are oh my goodness well some people should not just uh, say oh maybe this person this writer does not know what he's talking about because we have millions of them in nigeria we have millions of them across the country even some of them in the uk too they see how things are working where where they are but they begin they still support this government in all their uh, 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 atrocities being committed so you can't say oh somebody is just sitting down somewhere writing all this or trying to encourage people or this courage people they know what they are doing because we have a lot of them physical you that you see every day that they will see argue with you they didn't see they don't see anything wrong if gabashi can tell us that uh, this is what buari has been doing he has been going to london he has a long record of a uh, uh, people who attend to him concerning his uh, health then he has to continue the question is that why did he even say it in the first place that he's going to ban it so he always tell people to do this, but that is not what he's going to do. But that is wickedness. If really he knew quite all right that that is what he has been doing. Or that means he just lied to people just the way he lied to many Nigerians concerning subsidy. So how do we justify, how do we justify such a thing? So it is unfortunate that somebody will be coming out and say, don't disgrace him. But somebody who does not care whether you live or not, does not even talk to you. How many times? Who are you going to sit down with? Is it the one that talks or relate with you no now it doesn't work that way correction mister he is not a father figure to all nigerians certainly not me when a supposed father disgraced himself privately it is very important is disgraced publicly what medical facility can nigeria not put in place here hmm. in nigeria what if another if any other nigeria is suffering from the same ailment as buhari will he be able to go to london a london hospital for checkup if the facility is here it will be beneficial to all nigerians that is what a true father does hmm. someone say is your father better than 
the president in which way. Of course, he's not by being president. A lot of people are better than him. Forget all those nonsense. By by far better. Yes, honestly, by far better. Yours certainly is not. <laughs> no father is so biased as Buhari is towards non Fulanis and non Muslims. He's most unfit to be anything, not even a villager. You just like I told you now, somebody say, Oh, is your father better than Buhari? Those are the people we are talking about. They are there. They are all over the place. These are the people who will still uh, deceive a lot of people. Oh, they will say, I beg you, no, just leave and this and that. And you are suffering. He does not care about you. The politicians do not care about you. But you always go there and defend them. And they don't even know you from, from Adam. When someone says, dear poster, do you, have a, do you have a father that can behave in this such ill manner? Our president is not even acting as if he's concerned about what we are passing through presently. Is this the right time to travel out of the country? Look at the state at which he left all Nigerians in insecurity without looking back. It is not fair at all. No good father will ever do such to his children, except he does not love his children. In addition, sir, there is an uh, aphorism that goes like this. Read me. A man whose house is on fire does not go to bed. Following this proverb, what do you make out of his move in time uh, such like this? Renault Mokri must be one of the Nigerian most outstanding clown. clown. He's in the USA and is campaigning for public disobedience by Nigerians in the UK. Why not stage your own protest in the US? You must be a confused, insincere person to make such a statement against Renault. Hmm. You can call for something to take place uh, from any part of the world. That is what it, that is why somebody from uh, the deputy speaker said those in diaspora do they have that is not convinced that those who are in diaspora they have a say to talk or they have a, a, a how did he put it they have right to contribute to what is happening in Nigeria they are in they are far away in the US that's a mentality where if you say talk about that they are all over the place. It is not as if somebody is making it up. If a deputy speaker could say that, so what else do you expect? Somebody who said that those who are in diaspora do not have a, a they don't have a right to contribute to the discourse in Nigeria. Hmm. God bless Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless PMB. We wish you quick recovery. But who told you is sick? God, only God can bless or disgrace you. Waste on God if you are right. Um, it needs to be disgrace. What a mess. Uh, okay. God forbid Buhari can never be a father to me. He's a devil. Evil, even the devil is far better than Buhari. So guys, uh, let's hear your opinion. A lot of people are not happy about it. That uh, They say they want to go and stay, wish, uh, 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 protest against him. So let's hear your opinion and let's know your thoughts on this. Thank you.